Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everyone and may peace be upon you all. Recently many people were interested by Pokemon Go and the buzz behind it. So I went looking on the web for some Pokemon games and I found some Nintendo models based on Flash technology. Some MMORPG games like Poke MMO or the one that I will show you PokemonPlanet.com so of course I would not advise you to subscribe uh, it's a waste of time and this video is dedicated to the gamers who are already in the game or to those who are interested in programming simple bots to simplify their tasks and because as I'm a programmer and there are many repetitive tasks in the game I made this short script that I will show you and I will put the code source and the application in the description below so this is our application you can put it in the corner first I will click on open if you click on open you will get the full screen version so here we are So this is our trainer. So the first thing I will show you is how to optimize fishing. So what you need to do is to choose the number of attacks. Here I need just one because I'm using uh, Charizard against some weak fish. So let's try. I click on F and then run the program. So here you see that we have a sample pixel that we use as a model so for example you can see that it's a blue on the sea if that pixel becomes red it means that we met a Pokemon and that we are in battle so we use a pixel from this button if the button is or the pixel in the button is red it means that or it has a specific color for example red here it means that we are uh, fighting a Pokemon. So this is the principle um, that, I, that I use in, in this program. So here we met a new Pokemon. So as you can see automized it checks the pixel if it's uh, in the right color it click twice the first one on the button fight and then choosing the first attack so you need to put the powerful attack you have there so uh, I will show you something else which is how to to XP when walking or surfing so it serves you if you are surfing on on water or on sea or walking on the ground sometimes you meet some Pokemons for example we can start here uh, so I need to choose or to check the option walk and then run the application you see that our trainer um, we walk in in a circular in a circular path but with uh, with random distances so sometimes the circle is small sometimes it's bigger okay we started the application of the program you can see that it works alone and now it met or it meet uh, it met in a Pokemon what it has to do is to do the same thing checking the pixel if the pixel is in the right color click twice to fight that Pokemon again so now it works again we met a new Pokemon we check the pixel in this region so a pixel a specific pixel in, in this in the bottom if it's if the, the color is right exactly 
so I will show you the third thing which is XP the first Pokemon using the, the second suppose that you have a weak Pokemon that you want to give experience you want to XP uh, a weak Pokemon by combating or fighting stronger ones what you need to do is to put your Pokemon in the first place and pu put in the second one the supporter in the second position here if you can see I have put Gloom and Charizard as supporter so the program will switch between these two Pokemon let's check both of them and of course you can also XP if you choose just this one and you are for example fishing uh, you can use this one without uh, having the need of walking so let's try okay we met a new Pokemon now time to attack or to switch yeah first it switch between the two Pokemons so we got Charizard because he has an ultimate attack that can uh, that will end uh, the battle in uh, in just uh, one time and then it clicks on on the first attack on this one so let's see again So we met a new Pokemon. The program will switch. So uh, sent. Okay. And then it attacks. I'll explain how it works using the code source, and you will you'll understand the principle behind this uh, this program so this is our uh, program and this is the pixel color the coordinates so the x and y the position of our pixel which is here so what does the program it start by looping pixel get color so we get the color of that specific pixel if the pixel is the same that we wanted so we enter this loop we check if the option of XP second is checked if yes we click as we said twice here we click on Pokemon and then on Char Charizard in order to switch between the two Pokemons and as you can see we have always sleep here uh, it's an option that you will understand for example by attacking we take the number of attacks and we loop it twice so it means for example if I need to click one attack I need to click on fight once and then on flam burst my first attack uh, a second click so and this click is made on 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 a region and not on on just one pixel because if i do that clicking like um, an idiot bot clicking on, in the same or on the same place uh, successively i will be easily recognized by the server so if i start clicking 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 on the same place uh, eternally without sleeping and uh, always in the same region or in the same always in the same pixel uh, I will got a ban so what I have done is that I choose a random region when I can click so I don't click on the same place but they do as human usually uh, do they click in the button of course but in different regions in different pixels in the same region sometimes I click here sometimes here sometimes here this is what I do so I randomize my X and I do the same for the Y I get a random X position and a random Y and I click on it and then I sleep 
for a short moment uh, waiting for example an attack or something like that a uh, response from the other Pokemon and I, as I told you I always um, make the program sleep I make some intervals of time like a human do we are not um, robots clicking for example uh, each one millisecond clicking uh, twice or something like that so and then else if walk so it means that if we didn't we didn't got our color so it means that we are not in battle and the option of walking was checked what I do is that we need to move and as you can see here we have our moves W A S D or you can use the arrows up down left right we enter a loop we choose the move we check the pixel again it's important to check the pixel because it's useless to move when you are in battle and you need to check these uh, details because they are important the server sometimes will um, can ban you for for these simple reasons because you are uh, pressing a key in um, in a, in the wrong place so we check as we said uh, the pixel so if it's red what we do is that we will break the loop and we will enter the bigger loop and start fighting because we are in battle if not we are not in battle so we need to walk and how to walk it's easy uh, just by pressing keeping uh, the button press for a random time so here I choose between um, 1 to 2 seconds so you can choose the, this distance as you like the important is to keep it random having random distances when walking and uh, also the sleep between the distances should not be big when uh, when walking and what else yeah we can add here a short slip for example sleep for uh, random between mm. or we can leave it we don't need to sleep here it's when moving or we can make like short sleep of um, thirty milliseconds to ninety for example the time of changing the clicks even if sometimes we don't need to change we just double click maybe less than this you can remove it as you like it's not a problem and as I told you I will I will put this code and the program um, in the description below so and to understand it better wh and what I usually do is that I just keep the program for fishing so you don't need to move they don't take risky um, risky steps so I will explain you the program again so we have a loop we check our pixel pixel got color so if our color is in the right one means our if our pixel is in the right color it means that we are in battle the button is red if yes we enter we check the number of attacks and we click twice for each attack the first click is for fighting the second one is for uh, the attack and uh, we have uh, to choose as I told you a random X and and the random and the random Y so here I choose my interval sorry for the, this message and this tooltip is just uh, is just a message and then we have 
uh, the click and the sleep and we loop it again and you can imagine that for example we didn't get our color so it means we aren't in a bottle so the pro the loop uh, will it will loops again and sleep for a random time the time that we meet a new uh, new Pokemon so this is all what they have um, at the moment and as I told you the source code and uh, the program are in the description I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and thank you for watching this video Assalamu alaikum